One of the biggest challenges I've struggled with and only recently overcome was trying to make clear glass. Clear enough to make lenses. But what exactly makes a material transparent? And why does this make it possible to produce lenses that can manipulate light? Transparent things are all around us, including the air itself. But what determines if something will be opaque or transparent? When photons of light reach an object, it can do three things. Be absorbed, be reflected, or pass through it. What determines if a photon can pass through has to do with the specific electron energy bands of the atoms in the material and the wavelength of the photon. If the photons don't interact with these electrons and these specific energy bands, they can pass through unimpeded. However, other forms of radiation of different wavelengths than visible light interact with objects differently, such as ultraviolet light, the light that some of us need to protect our skin against when we go outside. We did a video all about that. To ultraviolet light, many forms of glass look opaque because the wavelength of photons in the UV light do interact with the electron energy bands in the glass, unlike the visible light. When these photons hit the glass, the electrons are absorbed, making it appear black when viewed in a special UV-sensitive camera. Similarly, sunscreen itself also exhibits this property, appearing transparent to visible light, but opaque to ultraviolet. Going even further down the electromagnetic spectrum is X-rays. Using an X-ray-sensitive image, normally opaque materials become completely transparent to it. But while we interact with a variety of transparent objects such as water, ice, air, and even some crystals, something that is easy to work with and shape was first possible with the invention of glass making. But how can these pieces of glass bend light? The redirection of light the lenses can do is called refraction. You got to see this when I first tried to make my own lenses. Refraction occurs when light moves from a faster to a slower medium, or vice versa. Photons of light will interact with the medium they pass through, which will slow their speed to varying rates. This is measured as the refractive index, with a vacuum being 1.0, water 1.333, and most glass around 1.52 meaning light travels 1.52 times slower through glass than through a vacuum. But how does this actually change the direction of a light beam? That has to do with the fact that light travels as a wave. So when it hits a piece of glass, different portions of the wave will change speed at different times, causing the overall direction of the light ray to deviate. This means that a lens can technically be made from nearly any transparent medium, including ice, which is something I actually previously experimented with, although it wasn't the most stable of materials. The ability to make clear glass has transformed society. Ever since the Roman era, it has allowed society to be protected from the elements while also letting sunlight in and us to see out. But another amazing quality of glass is our ability to shape it so that it will actually redirect light waves in precise ways that we can control. This has made glasses possible to correct eyesight, microscope to see previously invisible life forms, telescopes to see far into space, and it has allowed us to redirect light and images under the sensor of a camera. Glass has been an ongoing challenge for me, even now as I'm struggling to utilize it in the camera lens I've been trying to make. To hear more about glass, my journey with it, and further analysis into it, check out our companion episode of our podcast, Simply Complex, available on Apple Podcasts or wherever else you listen to podcasts.